Kyle Jacobs, songwriter husband of Kelly Pickler, dead at 49. Kyle Jacobs, a songwriter and the husband of former American Idol contestant and country music star Kelly Pickler, has died. The Metropolitan Nashville Police Department announced in a statement that Jacobs, 49, was found dead inside the couple's Nashville area home Friday and that his death is being investigated. According to the police statement, Pickler, 36, told police she awoke shortly before the incident and called 911 when she and her personal assistant were unable to open the upstairs bedroom door. Nashville's Department of Emergency Communications received a 911 call at 1.21 p.m. Pickler and Jacobs were wed in 2011. Together, they appeared on the reality show I Love Kelly Pickler in 2015. Jacobs had a hand in writing several hit songs, including Garth Brooks' 2007 hit More Than a Memory and Tim McGraw's 2009 song Still. He's also written songs for Kelly Clarkson, Scott McCreary, and his wife, and many others. Prickler won season 16 of Dancing with the Stars while competing with her professional partner Derek Huff in 2013. In 2006, she finished in the top 6 of season 5 of American Idol, launching her music career. Jacobs and Pickler reached their 12th wedding anniversary on New Year's Day. In 2022, he honored their 11th anniversary with a heartfelt post about his wife on Instagram. Her mind, heart, and soul is not only committed to our military and first responders, it is convicted to let them know that they are appreciated and loved, he wrote. And the good news for me is, she loves me too. Pickler co-wrote the title track of her 2013 album, The Woman I Am, with Jacobs. Nobody knows the woman I am better than my husband, she told USA Today in November 2013. There is no way I could try to be anything I'm not because he could definitely call me out on it. Kelly Dawn Pickler, born June 28, 1986, is an American country music singer, songwriter, and television personality. Pickler gained her fame as a contestant on the fifth season of American Idol and finished in sixth place. In 2006, she signed to 19 recordings and BNA Records as a recording artist. Her debut album, Small Town Girl, was released later that year and has sold over 900,000 copies. The album, which was certified gold, produced three singles on the Billboard Hot Country Songs chart, Red High Heels at number 15, I Wonder at number 14, and Things That Never Cross a Man's Mind at number 16. Pickler released her self-titled second album in 2008 that produced four singles, Don't You Know You're Beautiful at number 21, Best Days of Your Life at number 9 which she co-wrote with Taylor Swift, Didn't You Know How Much I Loved You at number 14, and Make Me Fall In Love Again at number 30. In 2012, Pickler was ranked as the 14th Best American Idol alumni. In October 2012, she parted ways with her former record label and signed with Black River Entertainment. On May 21, 2013, Prickler and her partner Derek Huff were declared the winners of the 16th season of Dancing with the Stars, and in 2016, she was inducted into the North Carolina Music Hall of Fame. From 2017 to 2019, she co-hosted the nationally syndicated daytime TV talk show Pickler and Ben with comedian Ben Aaron. Kelly Pickler was born June 28, 1986 at Stanley Memorial Hospital in Albemarle, North Carolina to Cynthia Morton and Clyde Bill Raymond Pickler Jr. Her mother left when Kelly was two years old, then returned and took custody of her for two years. After this, the court returned Kelly to her grandparents when she was 12 and they raised her to adulthood because her father was absent in her life. Pickler says the major influences in her life are her grandfather, Clyde Raymond Pickler Jr., a former electrician and grandmother, Faye Pickler. Pickler graduated in 2004 from North Stanley High School in New London, North Carolina. She was a cheerleader and a beauty queen. She sang On the Side of Angels by Leanne Rimes at her high school graduation. She worked at a car shop at Sonic Drive-In Franchise, and in 2005, she made an appearance at WSOC-TV's Gimme the Mic Charlotte contest. She finished in second place. She participated in the Miss America circuit and won the Miss Stanley Country pageant at 17 and subsequently competed for Miss North Carolina in 2004. At 19 year old, Pickler auditioned for American Idol in the fall of 2005 in Greensboro, North Carolina. She sang both Kelly Clarkson's Since You've Been Gone and Martina McBride's A Broken Wing. The judges sent her to Hollywood. Pickler advanced through the semifinal rounds in February and on March 9, she reached the top 12. Pickler was among Judge Simon Cowell's favorites. He once predicted Pickler would be in the final three and said he preferred her over the previous season's winner, Carrie Underwood. Recognized for her quirky personality and southern charm, Pickler gained attention on the show by saying she hardly ever performed before real audiences and by mispronouncing words. 
She was compared to Jessica Simpson in a March 27th story in Us Weekly magazine titled Kelly, the next Jessica Simpson, due to her sweet southern style and ditzy demeanor. Pickler has stated in the past a previous ignorance of common popular culture before her idol fame. Kyle Christopher Jacobs was an American country music songwriter, vocalist, guitarist, pianist, as well as a staff member for Curb Music since 2003. Jacob wrote music on piano and guitar. His hometown is Bloomington, Minnesota. Jacob was the co-writer on the Garth Brooks single More Than a Memory, which became the first song to debut at number one on Billboard's country's chart in its entire history. In addition to sharing rights on Kimberly Locke's top 10 hit, Eighth World Wonder, Jacob's songs have been recorded by artists such as Trace Atkins, Jody Messina, Craig Morgan, Tim McGraw, Kelly Pickler, his wife, Clay Walker, Kelly Clarkson, Scott McCreary, and many others. Jacobs had also collaborated with top writers and artists including Darius Rucker, Rachel Thibodeau, and Winona. On June 23, 2010, country music star Kelly Pickler announced her engagement to Jacobs, who proposed to her on June 15, 2010, the day of her late grandmother's birthday, while on a beach at a sunset after two and a half years of dating. Pickler and Jacobs were married on January 1, 2011. Jacobs was also part of the founding of UTEC, United Teens Encounter Christ, in the Twin Cities area of Minnesota where he played in the music team. Jacob died of self-inflicted gunshot wound in Nashville, Tennessee on February 17, 2023. He was 49. After her elimination, Pickler appeared in numerous shows promoting the TV show and performed the song Walking After Midnight in some of her appearances. On May 6 of 2006, she returned to Albemarle, North Carolina for a parade and a reunion with her father. She also received a key to the city from the mayor of Albemarle. The mayor also proclaimed the day as Kelly Pickler Day. Pickler also received numerous awards from local and statewide government officials praising her accomplishments as a contestant on the American Idol television show. Pickler pursued her recording aspirations in Nashville, Tennessee shortly thereafter. On June 17, 2006, she signed a record deal with 19 Recordings and BNA Records. She later announced it herself on The View. She was part of the American Idol's live tour in 2006, performing for three months in various cities. During that period, Pickler worked on her album in collaboration with top industry experts in different cities wherever the tour took her. Her first single, Red High Heels, debuted on September 13, 2006, and its music video was officially released on October 20, 2006. It received a nomination for the CMT Video Awards for Breakthrough Video of the Year. Her debut album, Small Town Girl, released on October 31, 2006, and topped Billboard's Top Country Albums and landed at number 9 on the Billboard 200, selling over 79,000 copies in its first week making Pickler the highest-selling first-week sales for a new artist in 2006. The album includes five songs that Pickler co-wrote with songwriters Chris Lindsay, Amy Mayo, and Karen Rochelle. On January 18, 2007, Pickler co-hosted The View and was presented with a gold record by Ray O'Donnell, certifying that her album had reached the 500,000 sales mark. She also performed her second single, I Wonder, which is a personal song about her absent relationship with her mother, Cynthia Morton. It was the first performance of the song on national television. Pickler was nominated for Top New Female Vocalist for the 42nd Academy of Country Music Awards. She was also part of Brad Paisley's Bonfires and Amplifiers concert tour from April 2007 through October as one of the opening acts. The tour was booked in at least 37 cities across North America, including a couple of stops in Canada. Pickler appeared in country music artist Brad Paisley's music video online in 2007. Kyle Jacobs, songwriter and husband of singer Kelly Pickler's last words before he died. I'm not afraid of death. I just don't want to be there when it happens. Love never dies a natural death. It dies because we don't know how to replenish its source. It dies of blindness and errors and betrayals. It dies of illness and wounds. It dies of weariness, of witherings, and of tarnishings.